Hey everyone, and welcome to the ProPresenter webinar on how to draw on ProPresenter using Aircast, our feature that we introduced in ProPresenter 18. My name is Amanda Kongvold, and I'm the product owner here at ProPresenter. Um, and I'm excited to get to show you all some of the cool things that we've developed with ProPresenter 18 and how you can use that to use in your own contexts. So at the very top here, I want to remind you that we will have a Q&A at the very end. If you have any questions uh, about anything I'm talking about or maybe something I don't mention that you'd like to ask a question about, um, please use the Q&A tool in the webinar and we'll get to those at the very end of the presentation. Um, but with that, let's go ahead and get started. Have you ever wanted to share a screen, maybe from your phone or an iPad and have that show in ProPresenter? Has your pastor ever said, hey, I want to be able to draw on my slides and have that show on the screens. Can you do that? Or maybe you've wanted the equivalent of a whiteboard, but one that fits, you know, in the current years and not with the old squeaky markers and everything. I just want to be able to draw and have people see it through ProPresenter. Well, that's where Aircast comes in. Aircast is a feature that we developed with ProPresenter 18, and it's an Aircast receiver where I'm able to receive signal from AirPlay supported devices and show those within ProPresenter. So this could be an iPhone, an iPad, or just another Mac product that also supports AirPlay. So what's required to use the Aircast feature? It's actually pretty simple. All you need is a machine with ProPresenter on it, and that can be Mac or Windows. Then you need a reliable network connection. And then lastly, you just need a device that supports AirPlay. So an iPhone, an iPad, or just another Mac that also has AirPlay support. If you have all that, then you can use our Aircast feature. So who is Aircast for? Well, we all have that pastor who wants to go the extra mile and maybe circle a word in a verse or highlight something or underline something. We saw that need and wanted to be able to do this much easier just using what we have in ProPresenter. So we built this feature with those kind of people in mind and also for some creative uses as well. Like I mentioned with the whiteboard example, maybe you have someone who just wants to draw and we want to see what they're, they're drawing while we're in the audience. Aircast is built for those kinds of use cases. Ultimately, we wanted to make something that made y'all's lives easier. And my hope is that after this webinar, you'll have the confidence to actually use it and be able to do some really creative things in your unique context. So how this webinar is gonna work, I'm gonna go through four different things to basically use the Aircast feature. First, we're gonna learn how to configure an Aircast receiver. Second, we're gonna learn how to connect that Aircast receiver and connect devices to it in ProPresenter. Lastly, we're going to learn how to format our slides as a pastor or a speaker and get those to a device that can then be connected to an Aircast receiver. And lastly, we're going to talk about how to show that in ProPresenter, both a very simple way and some more advanced ways. But with all of that intro out of the way, let's talk about how to actually do it. So let's configure an Aircast input. First, I'm going to add an input in my input settings. And right here, I have an option to add Aircast receiver. I'm simply going to select that and I will get an Aircast receiver added. If I already had other video inputs configured, I can always add it from the plus button and selecting Aircast here. Now I'm going to uh, get some of the settings configured. Um, first, I can give it a name, just like any other video input. I'm gonna name this one Aircast. Uh, the device is set to Aircast. And then you'll notice two other settings right here. We have the Aircast display name. This is how the Aircast receiver will appear on the devices that I try to connect to it. We'll get to more to what that looks like on the device side momentarily, but if you wanted to change that name, you'll, you're able to do so here. Lastly, there's an Aircast password. If I wanted that extra layer of security and only allow some people to be able to access this, I can add a password. I'm not gonna do so today, but just know that that is an option for you. Now you'll notice that there's no preview yet, and that's because I haven't yet connected a device to this Aircast receiver. So let's go ahead and do that. Now on my iPad, I'm going to go to screen mirroring. I can do that from the top little section of my iPad screen. And you'll see I now have the option for ProPresenter Aircast. I'm going to go ahead and select that. You'll see it kind of thinks about it for a moment. Once it is connected, I will get a little check mark. And now in ProPresenter, you can see the preview is now populated with my iPad screen. As I move my iPad and change some things up, switch screens, all of that is updating in ProPresenter as well. 
Now let's say that I wanted to just show just this home screen and make it pretty simple. And I just want to trigger this Aircast input. Pretty simple, no frills attached. To do that, I'm going to come back to ProPresenter and I'm going to open my video inputs. You can do this from the bottom of the media bin and add a video input. For this, I'm gonna select that Aircast input that I select that I created earlier. And then I'm simply going to trigger it. This is triggered on the video input layer, as you can see from the clear options here and what is highlighted. And now as I move my, my iPad around, you can see that updating in the app as well. So at its very basic level, that's how you can trigger an Aircast receiver. I know we haven't gotten to drawing yet. We're going to get to that soon. But first, I want to do a short break to allow you to fill out this poll. Uh, we just wanted to learn a little bit more about you as we're doing this webinar. Um, and learn a little bit more about your context. And just a reminder, I know I'm talking kind of fast. If you have any questions, please add those to the Q&A section and we'll talk about those more at the end. But with that, let's get back into it. But now let's talk about how to get our presenter slides from my ProPresenter machine into my device so I'm able to draw on them. Right now, I have this presentation that my pastor has already made and he said he wants to be able to draw on this for his sermon later. So first I'm gonna export these as images just by right-clicking and export as images and save this where I want to. I'm just gonna call it Air Anchor because that's the name of the sermon. Once that exports, I now have those images that I'm able to bring into another note-taking presentation. For this purposes of this webinar, I'm gonna be using GoodNotes um, just to get this ready ahead of time. I went ahead and added this earlier today but I can simply just add this into my GoodNotes app. And then because GoodNotes is on both Mac OS and iOS, it automatically syncs those notes both on my laptop and on my iPad. So as soon as I add this presentation here, it's already on my iPad and ready to use. So with that, let's look back at the iPad. On my iPad, I'm gonna go ahead and open GoodNotes. And here, like I said, you can already see my presentation that I added in earlier. I'm going to go ahead and open that presentation and here I have GoodNotes. The cool thing about GoodNotes is it has a special feature where I'm able to share my screen in either just the whole screen or I'm able to mirror my presentation page. That just means it's just showing what is on the presentation without showing all the other UI around it as well. So as you can see, when I come back to ProPresenter and trigger that Aircast input again, you don't see any of the UI around it. You just see the slide that I'm trying to present. This is a cool feature of GoodNotes. I'm not getting paid to say anything good about them, but it is a handy little feature if you're looking for a new app for your pastor to use, just like in a scenario like this. So from here, as I have my output already triggered, because of GoodNotes, I can use the draw functionality and annotate on this, and I can draw a little happy face if you want that. Uh, it's a little bit more fun, but let's see look, a little bit more of a real world example. Maybe I have this slide and I wanna make sure that people understand that it is a priority, so I want to underline it. Uh, GoodNotes also has a highlighter tool. Maybe I want to do consistently and have that highlighted. As you can see, as I make these notes, it's also showing up on my ProPresenter output as well. But let's come back to ProPresenter. Maybe I want to make this a little bit more themed and not take up the whole screen. Um, how could I have this and just add it as an element on a slide? So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and come. I'm just going to use the same presentation. So I'm going to come to the editor and maybe I want this to be a little bit more stylized. For this, I like a rounded rectangle. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a rounded rectangle and kind of have it fill most of the screen here. And maybe I'd want the rounded to be just a little bit more like this. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Um, and maybe I wanna add a shadow to it. And now I want the fill to be my video input or my Aircast receiver. So I'm gonna go here and choose video input. On the input, I'm gonna make sure it's set to Aircast and this should be set to go. I'm also gonna have it set to scale to fill just to make sure there's no black bars around any edges in case my dimensions weren't quite right. To add one more little note, I just want the border here to be a little bit more distinct from the slides. So I'm just gonna do this and have it have a color and just that this is kind of like a 50% opacity. Uh, just to have this all stand out a little bit more from it. Now I'm gonna go back to show view and trigger this slide. And you can see that my aircast is filling in the rounded rectangle and I have my slide behind it. So as I come back to the iPad, you can see as I change slides, 
that this is also updating on there. And so if I continue to draw on it and maybe I want to circle confess here, uh, it's all updating in real time and is showing on my ProPresenter outputs as well as on my iPad. Lastly, you might be thinking, hey, I also have a live stream where I want to show the pastor and he's live, but I also want to show this um, kind of at the same time. Now, this is not a new uh, problem or a new scenario that you might have, um, but there's a lot of different ways that you can accomplish this, including using your switcher and an ME and different pips all through there. But for now, I'm going to pretend that we already have our video input set up and everything's running through ProPresenter. And I'm just going to set this up as a prop using the prop layer and then using audience looks to make sure that what is showing is correct at different times. So from here, coming back to ProPresenter, I'm going to go ahead and add a prop and go ahead and open it in the prop editor. Now I have, I want everything to still be pretty themed. I'm going to go ahead and add that background that I had for everything else. So everything kind of matches and is the same. And just like we did earlier, I'm going to add a rounded rectangle and have the fill be my video input. So that will be my air cast and add a shadow. Um, I want this to be kind of here-ish. Um, and then I also want the ability to see my pastor off to the left. Um, in this case, I don't currently have my pastor cam as an input in ProPresenter, um, but I would do this much the same way. I would add another rounded rectangle, and then I would add, make it the shape I want it to be, and then assign it the video input that it's supposed to be. Again, as I don't have this set up already, I'm going to kind of cheat and just use a media image I have of my um, former pastor uh, when I lived in Texas. Um, again, just like with the other ones, I want to make sure that this is scale to fill so that it fills the whole shape. Same thing with my air cast. I want it to scale to fill so there's no black bars or blank space. I'm also going to go ahead and add a shadow to this one as well. Um, and this looks pretty good to me. So as my pastor is teaching, I will be able to also see the slides that he's referencing over here on the right. So what does this look like in practice? Well, I'm going to go ahead and just trigger this prop and you'll see it appear over the layer. And awesome, you can see my pastor, you can see the slides. And again, on the iPad, as I change things and change slides, you'll see that also update in the um, object on the slide as well. The last thing I wanna go over is obviously, I want this to go to my live stream and I want everything else to go to my in-room screens. I'm going to do this using looks. I'm going to open looks, and now I'm gonna create a new look. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this Aircast for this example. So you see I have screen one here and then live stream. Right now they're showing both the same things. Since I made this different themed uh, pastor and slides as a prop, I wanna make sure the prop layer is shown on my live stream, but not in the room. So I'm gonna disable props in the room and make sure that it's sh shown on my live stream. Just to double check that nothing gets uh, crazy, I'm also going to go ahead and disable these other things so that my live stream is only seeing the prop. Um, once I make this live, you'll see screen one now just shows the in-room screen. That's exactly what I wanted to see. And as I go to screen two for the live stream, you'll notice that that is showing the live stream. Now to go the extra mile, uh, if I wanted to set this up to happen all the time, I might make a macro and I'll go ahead and add a macro and I'll call this macro just like everything else, Aircast. If I wanted later to add a specific icon for this, that would be fun. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and add my prop that I made. So add actions prop and that prop. And then I'm also going to add my um, look that I made, audience looks, aircast. So now when I trigger this, it will change both the look and trigger that prop. Um, so now if I want, whenever I triggered this slide for the in-room aircast experience, I want all of this to happen at the same time. Just going to drag and drop this macro onto that slide. And now when I trigger it, you'll see that on my live stream, like I said, that's triggering the prop. And on my in-room screen, you can also see the aircast there. If I go to a different slide, my in-room screen still changes to that slide and I come back and it goes to the aircast slide. And as I come back to the iPad, just as with everything, as I update things here, you will see it also update on my output. And again, as I draw things, um, I have lots of options here. Uh, I can say grow, and maybe I make this into a little tree. That'd be fun, or I'm not a very good drawer. This is not a drawing class. This is just how to draw in ProPresenter. Uh, but I'm able to do that, and you can all see it as I update it also in 
the output. So that's a brief overview of how we can do drawing and make it happen to where you can see that in ProPresenter as well. Um, just so you know, just like how we did Aircast inputs for video, you could also do an Aircast receiver for audio. Let's say I have a um, different computer that also has a playlist of songs and I want that all to go through ProPresenter. I could use an Aircast audio receiver to be able to do that and have it all go through the same way. Also, just a note, ProPresenter only supports one device being connected to the audio receiver at a time. So I can only connect one device at a time. I can't connect both my iPhone and my iPad and switch between the two. At this time, we can only support one device at a time. So this is just one example of a use case that you ca could have using the Aircast receiver function. You could also use it to play videos, be in an online player, whether on your phone, on your iPad, or a different computer and have that input into ProPresenter via the Aircast receiver. Maybe you have videos with your curriculum for a sermon and you wanna show those in ProPresenter, but they're only available on the web. You could set up an Aircast receiver with a different device to be able to show those videos um, in ProPresenter as well. Or maybe you just have pictures on your phone uh, and you just want to show those uh, in the room and have everyone look at what you're looking at as you swipe. Again, Aircast receiver is made so that you can do that super easy without a whole lot of different uh, complicated steps. That wraps up the demo portion of our webinar today. I'm really excited to hear about some of the creative things y'all are able to do with this feature. Um, I hope it's something that meets a need for you guys um, and that you get some inspiration out of this as well. Thank you all again. Again, my name is Amanda Kongvold and I'm the product owner for Renewed Vision. Um, I really appreciate y'all taking the time to join us here today. And I really hope y'all have uh, learned something new that maybe you can apply to the unique needs that you have for your specific context.